Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to create windows for buildings um, that have a fake interior and uh, I'll kind of go over some of the properties of that. So if we look at this one really quickly, it's got um, a reflection, it's reflecting what's going on outside. So if you look at this bit here, if you look how that's that being reflected in the window. Um, if we look up here, we've got kind of some jazz going on here that's showing that there's kind of dirt on the window or grime and things that uh, come down the window. Uh, this is the same here. But actually, if we look inside, if we can get past the reflection, you can see that there's actually an interior or an image of an interior that actually parallaxes. So if I get this to something really, really slow, maybe we can actually quite smoothly see that it appears to actually have depth like you can actually look inside it and look around and see more of it um, but the, if we go around the back of this there is no interior it's just flat, flat polys so this is all basically being driven uh, by a shader I've got an old UDK video that does the same thing and this is just this setup in number four. This is really useful for trying to if you're trying to create like a facades for buildings and you want to um, you don't want to go to the trouble of building the interior. Also, it saves you having to develop develop the interior and develop kind of alpha and you know the issues that I've already talked in other videos about issues we have translu with translucent with translucency, translucency, things like that. That um, this is actually quite a nice way of getting around all those kind of issues. And so you can even look at these ones down and it's um, it doesn't work as well but it shows you that they're spatially pretty correct okay so <laughs> the first thing is probably to look at the UVs because to get this effect to work right you have to have a UV set up correctly on your window so normally where you would have this sort of stuff you would try and pack it in to your UVs you can't really do this with with, with this because um, essentially the UVs become like where the, uh, the the windows in which you or the, the bits that you actually look through onto the the, the, the texture. Uh, so to show you that in Max, <coughs> I've got my object here, uh, which is the thing that I'm using, and you can see these windows. They basically this is separated out into different material groups. So there's three IDs. One is the brick, the other is the wood, and the um, you know, stone parts for the lintels um, and the ledges and then material ID 3 so if we go down to here and look at material ID 3 these are the UVs for uh, the windows so as you can see they're more or less set up in a similar way to how these are and these relate directly to the texture that's used um, to create the, the background um, because what we're doing is we're creating a parallax technique which basically means that the texture is moved um, based on where you're looking at it from and you need to, to allow it to travel you need to basically have this space around the outside so that as you move around it you can see more of this part so if you move you know, this way you see more of this and that kind of thing it's a bit weird but if you try and set these up where they take up the whole space um, it just won't work so you have to kind of set them up as if like this you have to be set up the same way um, and you can play with the UVs and that will basically change which bit of the texture you see so if we go back over to Unreal <coughs> and actually look at the material that we're using um, it's basically yeah, it's, it's actually really simple um, we have this which is this three this is a three uh, this is a constant three vector uh, basically the darker you make it the more of the interior you'll see the lighter you make it so if I make it pink and make it quite bright then the more of this that will come through because essentially this and the bit behind it are added together so if I hit apply to this these will become very pink and you will hardly see any of the interior so if you want to be able to see the interior you want to try and keep this dark basically if it's a dark color um, then when you add the 
this on top, it will come through stronger. And they apply. It's still pink, but it's darker. And now you can see what's going on inside. So what we're doing is we're basically adding uh, this texture to it. Uh, so you can see there, and all I've got in here, I mean we don't really need this, this is just a multiply to change to it, add some colour to this, but if I just plug that directly in, it still works. So basically you've got colour and you've got this texture. So if we have a look at this texture, essentially this is really noddy, I just threw it together for this example. But basically it's, a, the centre of it is the room, and then all I've done is I've just cloned or copied this and tried to create almost like an interior. Um, going out this way so it's kind of stretched the sides are stretched out and then I've just put some texture on the top and I've darkened it slightly around the edges uh, to create like a, a, a vignette you can see there it's like brighter in the middle and dark on the outside um, so essentially if you imagine our UVs placed over the top of that then that's the bit of the room they actually see and as you move around it just pans more of this left and right up and down based on the viewport that's basically all it's doing so that's set up like that if I disconnect the um, bump offset part which is the sexy bit you can see that it just that's all it is it's just you know, this material this color with this added to it. The sexy bit is basically this uh, this part here. So what we're using is the bump offset node which I've used in previous videos uh, to create uh, like bumpy bricks and things like that. But instead of putting a texture in, all we're doing is giving it a value. And we're giving it a negative value. So in this case it's minus 10. So if it was minus 5 the effect just wouldn't be quite as strong. You can see it if I zoom in, that's me, and you go around. You can see that it's doing it a bit, but not a lot. Make it minus 10, it does it a lot more. Now, one of the things you can see is it's starting to tile. And the more that you push this, more it'll do that because it's essentially pushing it into the distance. See, so I'm at minus 20. It's pushing it quite far back now, but essentially it's tiling. So you've got to be, you know, you've, you've got to be careful with it. Um, minus 10 kind of works, and this is why you, why it's important that you set your material up so that you are only looking at, or set your UVs up so that you're only really looking at a small part of it and you are allowing for the whole texture to basically um, fill that space so that you, the tile doesn't become noticeable. It's kind of a weird way to work, but um, uh, it, it's a, it basically gets you the results you want. The, uh, so that, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, the only things on top of that that I've put in are um, a specular value to basically control the strength of the reflection on the actual window. Uh, obviously, it's set to not be metallic because it's not, because uh, glass isn't. Um, and then the glass surface uh, roughness is basically I'm using this mask, uh, which is the green channel, I think. In channel, blue channel even, which is basically just this, which is just some grunge that's been painted in, and essentially this is, you know, it goes by the usual rules of roughness, so the brighter it is, the more rough it is, and the, the darker it is, the more smooth it is, or the more reflective it is, and essentially in this case what that does is just creates the, um, the dirt, you know, the, the jazz that's on the and obviously we've got, I've got the usual things of some lerps and to control that stuff. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, so the important thing with the uh, interior offset is just that you um, plug in the, the, the bump offset into this bit only. 
uh, and that you set this up so that it has room so that it will when it tiles it will be less noticeable so if we go back to looking at this so our UVs are laid out into this area here for the window separated out and so it only sees this bit and then as you pan around it it basically exposes a little bit more of the material but you never see it actually tile and that in uh, in max that means that's set up something like that uh, okay so uh, yeah that's more or less it so if we go back to the editor you can kind of see that working as it's supposed to so let's get down to that There you go, so you never really see the tile because UVs are small enough that it doesn't let you get far enough around to see it. So, hopefully, that's helpful. Cheers.